Hi, this is Damien Alomar with ASG Viz, and this tutorial goes over making chrome and ceramic materials. So I have my scene here, which is just a bunch of objects uh, around on a ground plane. No materials on them yet. Uh, so here's just the render process, um, light cache and a radiance mapping. Um, no special environment settings, so our render is just going to be a kind of uh, flat gray. So, add some materials to the scene now. So, open up the material editor and right click on scene materials, go to add material, and then add V-Ray material. I'm going to right click again and go to rename and name it Chrome. So, I'm going to expand the tree under the Chrome material, uh, select reflection, right click, and say add new layer. This is going to give me a reflection layer here on top of my diffuse layer. So if I click on the M next to reflection, this will bring up the uh, Fresnel options in the texture editor. I don't want those, so I'm going to set those to null and click apply. Now if I go a preview, I basically have the, mirror, the ball as a, a mirror, a completely chrome material. So I'm going to select one of my objects, right click, and choose apply material to objects. So now I have my chrome material applied. So while we're here, we're going to add um, a ceramic material as well. So I'm going to add a VR material again. Go back and right click to rename, or double click this time. Name that and add the reflection layer again. This time we're going to make a few uh, different modifications to it. I'm going to pull up the Fresnel settings again. And first thing we're going to do is change the Fresnel color to white. And next we're going to go ahead and change the Fresnel IOR. Change this to uh, 0.9. Click Apply. And now we're going to go and change the highlight glossiness to 0.9. And the reflection glossiness as well to 0.9. And lastly, I'm going to go into the diffuse settings and change them so this is going to be the color of my material. So, just do a quick preview again so we can see what we're working with. And we can see the reflection, a slight glossiness. And I'm going to select a material, right click on ceramic, and apply to that material. So, we'll close out the material editor and go ahead and re render. And now we can see our rendering and we can see the HDRI that we have in the background slot. So, that's not affecting our lighting, but it is, uh, is affecting the reflections in both our ceramic and our chrome material. So, there are the reflections there, and that's it for making chrome and ceramic materials.